18 pounds. It's currently equipped with 20 pound test braid line. Uh, moss green, as it were. One of my personal favorite colors. And let's see. This I'm currently is currently set up for a multifaceted situation. I'm going to flip it around without hitting the camera or the ceiling or the wall. Uh, so I can show you what's going on right here. I realize now before you see this and get all like, oh, Danny, now how you do it? You don't know what you're doing. I know I don't know what I'm doing. Also, I know this isn't how you use it. Um, this is a barrel swivel with a. Would you stop trying to eat my fishing pole? Thank you. Anyway. Uh, with a clasp or a carabiner. Now, what I'm going to be doing with it, for the sake of science, and I've got two uh, pullover knots, one on this side, one closed pullover knot on this side, and uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and test its strength there, make sure it can handle. Good stuff. Oh, there we are. So, what the plan is, is on this end, 34 inches down, on this number one knot hook, we're going to be placing a bait fish. This is going to be happening tomorrow. It'll be either a large shad, there we are, or a bluegill, or something along those lines. We're going to be casting out after we use this clamp to place on one of the two ounce weights. The fish will then swim around for roughly 34 inches until it's like, ah, oh, can't go that way anymore. Ah, oh, can't go that way anymore. So on and so forth. Until finally, a giant freaking catfish eats it. So that's the plan. There are also gar where I fish. Uh, alligator gar and spotted gar. So I much prefer it be a blue catfish, or a channel catfish, or just a giant honking mud catfish, or bullhead as it were, because that would really, that'd be really cool. They look amazing when they're big. Uh, not very good eating though. The bigger they get, the more swampy they get. But anyway, I think that's actually true with all the, uh, with all the catfish, but yeah. So that's the plan for tomorrow, and not to mention, in case I ever get bored of doing that, or if I feel like doing some float fishing, what I can do is use the exact same setup, pop this guy in here, and I have a, uh, yeah, I have float tackle ready to go, 34 inches deep. So that's nice. Let's get this guy back out of there. So, like I said before, if you're still watching this video, which I hope you are, because, I don't know, it's a lot of fun, I have to do it all in one shot because my computer is broken, still. Um, yeah. It's going to be not this Thursday, but next Thursday, or the Thursday after, depending on what all needs to be purchased and what all bills I've got coming out of my bank account. I will have my parts ordered and they will be headed towards me, so that is good um, to fix my computer. Look forward to a live stream of the repair. There we are, you're reset. Um, yeah. But, oh yeah, right, and in case you would like one of these guys, the Odds Pro 39 inch retractable collapsible um, landing net of your very own. There we are. It easily packs away into all kinds of places. You can find a link in the description of where you can find one. They're actually really cheap. And for what you get, like this is solid. This is a solid piece. There is no jiggle going on here. It's, and not to mention, you can just and it's ready to go. You know what I mean? And a little, yeah, you know what I mean. But yeah. So anyway, questions still remain. For example, um, what fish will I end up catching tomorrow on my fishing trip 
You can find out the answers to that and more on the next episode!